Hello and welcome to this Stationeers Beta Performance Analysis. Yes, today I will be taking a look at the performance of the Stationeers Beta that I had an access to and was testing over the few weekends or so. So I just wanted to give you the rough numbers in terms of performance, how does it look, what to expect and all in all how does it look. Alright, so... <clears throat> First things, what I need to be covering, I need to be covering my configuration because obviously my configuration will be differing from yours. So I'm running a, a Windows 10 Home on a processor Intel Core i7 10700K CPU. That's basically 8 core 16 thread CPU at 3.8 gigahertz with 64, mega, uh, megs, 64 gigs of RAM. Uh, also, uh, I'm running a graphics card, which is RTX 2080 non-TI. Uh, so, yeah. So that's the configuration. <clears throat> now, uh, I have run a total of uh, five tests, and I will be showing you how they look. Uh, uh, mainly, I have opened two of my saves, Europa and the Mars. The footage that you're seeing being played now was me just playing the beta, which was, and I was building a brand new base on the moon because I wanted to see how it looks, how it performs, overall look and feel. I wanted to have my impressions clean before I started, you know, doing the uh, performance analysis. So, the first test, as you can see, is on my Europa base from my Europa survival, you know, start getting started guide series, looking out the window left to right. And uh, <clears throat> the differences that I have seen between the uh, current version that's currently live on Steam and the beta, which I was analyzing, and I believe that beta version was uh, 0 0.2319116006. Uh, the total difference and performance gains were about 20 to 30 f uh, frames per second, which when compared to the actual frames per second which I was getting on a current, which was 55, marks between uh, 45 to 50 percent increase, which is really nice. Also, I want to point out here that the latencies, uh, I was also measuring using the internal measurement tool, all the performance, all the detail was on max. So uh, the latency drop, the minimum latency dropped down from 12 milliseconds to 9 milliseconds, and the maximum from 14.5 dropped to 12, with an average being running at around between 10 and 11. I would say more closer to 11, though. The second test was uh, when I went on the Europa out of the base and I fl flew around the base. I thought this was a very nice stress test because, I mean, the base is not huge, but it gives you enough rendering things that you need to take care of and the CPU has to calculate all the values in the background. So, what I did was, uh, when a flight test, the minimum performance gains was between 9 and 20 FPS, which constitutes a roughly 20% increase. Uh, looking from the worst case scenario to the best case scenario. So uh, the, my frame rates jumped from 46 to 55. On average, it was between 55 and 75. So 75 for the beta and 55 for the current version. And in the maximum count, it drew went up to 80. So, but like I said, in average, it was sticking very, very steadily at, you know, 75 frames per second. Uh, the latencies also dropped from a minimum 15 milliseconds to 12 and maximum 21 to 18. So a significant drop, some roughly also 20, 30%. So really, really nice across the board. Uh, note that I didn't test the multiplayer yet because I didn't have time to assemble with the Max and the rest of my crew. So that's something that I will be considering in the future. When, it, when we are talking about Mars, and this is the current ongoing series which I had, uh, which I'm running actually right now, and that's the reason why I didn't post any episodes, because I really wanted to test and see, compare beta to the current version. So, 
there I have seen some significant improvements and the first one is a flight similar to Europa where I basically fly over my Mars base and then circle and vent around Mars base to see how it goes. And I have to say I have noticed a significant boost in terms of performance. We are talking around 40 FPS which when compared to the, uh, and we're talking minimum, 40 FPS 1, so my def default running was at 55 and beta was running at 95, so we're all talking here like 80%, 70-80%, you know, 1, which is amazing. And we're talking now about the minimum frame rate, rates. The maximum frame rates jump from 80 to 155, so almost 100% gain, which I think it's amazing. So, all in all, 40 to 70 FPS 1, uh, seven, uh, and that constitutes on average of 72% gains. Now, when we're talking about latencies, also dropped pretty significantly when they were actually halved. So, um, minimum latency I had was 11 milliseconds, which dropped to 6. Uh, 20 milliseconds, which was the maximum before, dropped to 12. And on average, it stuck from 15, which was previously to around 10, which I think it's a very nice, you know, latency gain as well. And <clears throat> we are, when we're talking the final test that I did was also run, in, uh, run inside and look both into the plants and outside of the window. And there the performance gains were roughly between 30 to 50 FPS which constitutes compared roughly 50% gains, 43.47% gains on the, between, on average. So 69 to 99, I'm talking here the minimum FPS. When we're talking maximum FPS, it went from 80 in the current version to 129 in beta. And on average, it went <coughs> from 75 to 110. Uh, the latencies also follow the same pattern, dropped by 50% almost from 12 to 7, from the minimum or uh, the maximum from 14 to 9, which is a little bit less of a increase, but still, all in all, that brings us to the <clears throat> also roughly 40 to 50% gains in terms of the latency. So, my conclusion here is definitely there was a big benefit in terms of doing the refactoring that the devs at the Rocketworks did. And uh, I'm pretty sure that, uh, I mean, the beta so far, it has, still has bugs. I had a bug where basically when I was exiting out the I airlock, actually it actually, uh, through the advanced airlock, once when you actually stopped, it stopped working. So you could get stuck in an airlock. However, I'm happy to say as soon as I reported it to the devs, they fixed it pretty promptly and they're fixing a lot of bugs right now. And after that, we'll, we'll see. We don't yet have any official time when, when we expect it to go to, you know, live. However, you can check your, out the beta for yourself if you wish. I'm happy to report that my old saves were compatible. You just have to go into, into the Steam under properties, betas, and I think the code was there will be bugs. It, I mean, I will put it in the description below. So check it out for yourself. And I'm really excited and looking forward to what this game will be offering in the future. But I, know I will see you in my next video. So do be sure to like this video if you have enjoyed it, if you find it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. This is Groundworks signing off.